Hey there, friend. Aaron Chase here from Five Dollar Dinners, and welcome to the next episode of the Dinner Made Easy Show. We are continuing on with holiday themed recipes, and today I have a non turkey alternative for you. Last week we did Instant Pot Herbed Turkey Breast, and I have admitted this publicly before, and I'm going to say it again. I'm just not the biggest fan of turkey. So, uh, we are doing a beef roast, uh, in case you are not a big fan of turkey. Uh, I do not believe, I have not heard, that there will be any sort of like turkey shortage this year. Uh, I've been paying close attention to the news and the experts on that, and so I don't think we're going to have one, but in case there ever was one in the future, this is also a great holiday feast alternative, um, or even for other meals. It's simple, it's affordable. And it's super easy to do. You can definitely slow cook this, but we are making it in the Instant Pot today. The recipe is here on the video. So we are going to jump right in and get started because we need to saute this. And one of the reasons I love doing this in the Instant Pot is you can brown the edges or the outside before you turn on the Instant Pot. You can do it all in the same pot. And then you can see I have baby potatoes here. I'll tell you more about that. Uh, in a minute. The first thing that we need to do, this is going to be a little tricky to see. I can't really show this to you, but we need to put it on saute mode. So your instant pot should have, what is happening down here? Oh, sitting on a jump drive. How about that? Sorry. <laughs> Never know. So we are going to warm up this uh, olive oil uh, on saute mode high. We want the high heat because we're going after the sear for the, on the outsides of the beef roast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this screaming hot. While I'm waiting for that to warm up, I'm gonna start with the chives that are here. Uh, I'm gonna just run my knife through these chives, whether you get them from your garden or from the grocery store, it does not matter. But we want to have a little chive in with our sauce. So we have uh, about two tablespoons of olive oil warming up here in the bottom of the Instant Pot. It's on saute high. The high, There's three saute levels, at least on mine, probably on yours as well. And you want that high, 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 we want the hot oil to uh, give that nice brown uh, texture to the beef before we then pressure cook it. So. While that's warming up, I'm just chopping up these chives. A couple tablespoons is what we're going to need. And then we're going to mix up the sauce that's going to go with it. So every Instant Pot recipe has to have a cup of liquid. Okay. So in this case, it's going to be a cup of beef broth, a quarter cup of red wine or red cooking wine, and a little garlic, and then these chives. So we're going to mix that up. While we're waiting for this to heat up, you can just kind of, it's not quite hot enough not hot up here yet. If, you, if this was on for a while, this would be hot, so be careful. Okay, it's actually, that's getting pretty loosey-goosey there. All right, I want that to be real hot though, so I'm gonna give it another minute to do that. So I'm going to now, see I can do this over here in the corner where you can see. I am going to measure a quarter cup of red wine or red cooking wine, depending on what you have, and one cup of beef broth, again, the Instant Pot needs that cup of liquid in order to read and run the cooking cycle. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use a beef bouillon base. I like those, they're super affordable from um, Costco, has really great prices for these. And I'm just gonna get this water hot real quick. I'm gonna mix that up and then pour it in and then Add, I'm just going to go ahead and add the garlic while I'm waiting for that hot water. We need two teaspoons of minced garlic. This recipe is linked here on the video, so either right now you can go check it out, um, or when we're done and, you know, we're finished, you can go on the replay as well. Let me, oh, wrong spot. Well, now we know the oil's ready. We're going to get some toasty garlic. Wrong pot, you guys. Okay. Again, you never know what's going to go wrong. So that's ready. So let's get the beef in there. So the beef roast 
we now know is in there. This, I tried to get kind of a, this is probably about two and a half pounds. I didn't want it to be too large because it's got to fit in here. Just like that. I'm going to give that a minute. This is me trying to do three things at once to save time while we're live. All right, I got the beef bouillon. Stirring that up. You get a little steam action. You like that? Yum, huh? All right. I got this. I'm stirring up the, bou the beef bouillon right here in this measuring cup. You can see a little better. I kind of have like an awkward angle on my counter with this camera. All right. So one cup of beef broth, a quarter cup of red wine, two teaspoons of garlic, minced garlic. If you had garlic powder, you could do that as well. And these chopped chives that I have here. So I'm going to just toss all this in here. So then it's ready to go when we flip over. When we flip that beef roast, after that, we can then pour this sauce on and put the lid on. Okay. So that's a good little sizzle. Let's check and see. Parts of it are okay. I'm going to press a little bit. Tatiana, you're trying to smell it with all the steam. smell vision can we invent that, please? Wouldn't it be amazing to invent smell vision I'm just giving it a little tap because I think part of the bottom of this is a little hotter than the other. Look at how gorgeous. Ugh. All right, we're just going to let that sit for a second. I'm going to do a, a touch of salt and pepper. right onto the beef. I'll do, I'll flip it one more time before we pour the sauce in and let it uh, pressure cook. So beef roasts, uh, the timing of the beef roast in the pressure cooker is very, actually very hard to predict. Uh, so we, you, it can be anywhere. It depends on how thick it is. This is actually not so thick. So I think I'm only gonna probably put this in for about 30 minutes. Of course you can use your meat thermometer to cook it to your liking. Once you've cooked it, you can just insert the th meat thermometer into the thickest part and then check to see if it's done to the temperature that you prefer, okay? So saute the beef roast on both sides and sprinkle a little salt and pepper on each side. We're gonna whisk up this sauce. So this is one cup of beef broth, a quarter cup of red wine or red cooking wine, two teaspoons of garlic, minced garlic, and about two tablespoons of chopped chives, fresh chives. Okay, so I'm pouring that in. I'm going to now hit cancel on here. So I'm canceling this because I want to switch from saute mode to pressure mode. Okay, so now we're going to pressure cook this and it is going to cook beautifully going to take on all those insanely amazing flavors. So I'm going to do this for probably 30, I'll just do 30 minutes. It's a thinner beef roast. If you're using a, like a round roast where it's a little fatter, uh, then you might want to do 40 minutes. Uh, it's, it's really kind of dependent on the, on the cut of beef. It's hard to predict in my, in the recipe, I go up to 50 and 55 minutes. That's probably long enough. Um, so now, the reason that we're not adding these baby potatoes right now is they really don't need that long to cook. The baby potatoes really only need six to eight minutes to cook. So if we put these in now, in the 30 to 50 minute cooking cycle with the beef, they are going to be mush, <laughs> just way too mushy. So we want to put these uh, baby potatoes in at the end of the cooking cycle. So as soon as this cooking cycle's over, it will beep at you. You need to come and quick release. You just switch the valve to venting, quick release. Uh, just add the baby potatoes right into the right on top. Close the lid and then do another high pressure, manual high pressure for six to eight minutes to then cook these through. Quick release and then you have your meat and potatoes ready to go. You sometimes can cook meat and potatoes together, like a meatloaf and a mashed potatoes. 
Um, but in this case, because the roast is going to be in there a little bit longer, I do not want these baby potatoes to turn to mush. So I am going to let them uh, cook them as, as kind of like a second cooking cycle. So that's it. I like to think it's super easy. It took me, what, 10 minutes of chatting and um, one mishap or two <laughs> to get this going. And then now all I have to do is um, let it cook. So the recipe is here. Uh, I might be able to add it in the comments. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, you should be able to see the recipe in the comments as well. So this is an alternative or an option, an alternative to turkey. I, I'll eat turkey. I'll eat a couple bites, but it's not my favorite. And um, I like to have other things that are um, budget gourmet. Can we call it that? Let's call this budget gourmet. So this is Instant Pot Red Wine Beef Roast. Super quick recap. Uh, yes, Tatiana, so easy, super easy. All right, we did two tablespoons of oil in the base of the Instant Pot. We heated that up on the saute mode, the high saute mode. Then we need to um, brown the, the longer sides. You could try to brown the edges, but eh, that's okay. Brown the, the longer sides of the uh, beef roast in that oil. It just takes two minutes-ish on each side or so. While that's uh, oil's heating and browning, you can mix up the sauce. We did one cup of beef broth, a quarter cup of red wine or red cooking wine, and two teaspoons of minced garlic. You could do garlic powder and about two tablespoons of fresh chives chopped up. We just mixed that up into a little sauce. Once the beef was done browning, then I just poured the sauce right in with the beef roast, uh, canceled the saute cooking cycle, and then switched it over to the manual cooking cycle. And I set it to 30 minutes because it's a little bit hard to predict how, um, depending on how thick the beef roast is. So you can always I would err on the side of less time because you can always put the lid back on and cook it a couple more minutes. Um, if you then, if you do more time, then you kind of overcook it. Although that's, this beef roast is swimming in that fabulous sauce. That's so probably really not going to be overcooked or dried out. Um, but it's just something to consider. Go a little bit on the light, shorter, lighter is not the right word, shorter side. Okay, once that 30 to 50 minute cooking cycle of the beef is finished, then you can add some baby potatoes, some small red potatoes, even some small gold potatoes would be really good. Just add those right into the top, put the lid back on for six to eight minutes um, on high pressure so that those potatoes can cook. Um, and again, the reason that we don't wanna cook the potatoes with the beef roast for the full cooking 30 to 50 minute cycle is because the potatoes will turn to mush and we don't want that. So uh, quick side dish ideas, just a garden salad, um, some broccoli, green beans, asparagus, whatever your favorite green uh, veggies are. I think that that is a great well-rounded budget gourmet type meal that is great for a holiday, super flavorful, flavorful, super delicious, and bonus points that this is being cooked in the Instant Pot and not the oven. You can save your oven for all your other holiday side dishes and whatnot that you might be making. So that is it for this episode of the Dinner Made Easy Show. If you missed it, we switched this month. The Aaron Shea Show is now more cooking style recipes. We're still going to make sense some other things. I have some fun other little sneaky things I'm going to sneak in there. Uh, but we did um, how to make a pie crust on Tuesday. And we actually, I was at my sister's house and we made chicken pot pie with the pie crust and it was to die for. So make homemade pie crust. I did that for you on Tuesday. You can check that out here under the videos tab on the page. And of course, we'll be back next week with more holiday um, inspired recipes, both on Tuesday for the Aaron Chase show and Thursday for the dinner easy, made easy show. Um, that's what I'm all about friends. I want to make dinner easier for you. And that's why I show you 15 minutes, with a whole lot of me telling you how this works. Uh, we've got this instant pot uh, red wine beef roast going for dinner. My boys are going to be so excited about this one. I don't think we've had a meat and potatoes meal in a couple weeks or so. Uh, so anyways, we're excited about this tonight. Have a great evening, friends, and we look forward to seeing you sometime soon. Uh, check me out Tuesday, Aaron Chase Show, Thursdays, the Dinner Made Easy Show here on the $5 Dinner's Facebook page. Have a fabulous evening and weekend, and we'll see you soon.